If you have behaviors typical of an entrepreneur and are thinking about starting your own company, now or in the future, you need to realize that, regardless of whether you already have a full-time job or you have just graduated and entered the labor market, the change of your lifestyle will be significant. Having a company is a great responsibility for yourself, your family, employees and their families too. It requires a lot of determination, discipline, flexibility and commitment. You need to ask yourself these questions. Do I have the knowledge and skills needed? The general knowledge about how to set up a business, how to deal with taxes, paperwork and legal issues you can easily find online. No one was born an entrepreneur and all the company's owners had to deal with the same doubts. But the other thing is whether you have the knowledge about a field you want to work with. It is crucial to know the industry and the market before you invest your time and money into it. Do you have a net of people who would help you if anything goes wrong? Or on the contrary, do you already know someone reliable whom you will hire if your company starts to develop rapidly? At the same time, does your family know what you will be struggling with? Beginnings of working for yourself are usually hard and time-consuming, sometimes your family and friends might feel neglected. Make them realize that this is only temporary and make sure this is a true statement. Of course not having a family or close friends does not exclude anyone from being an entrepreneur. You just need to care for people, no one has a company only for themselves. You will have to work with associates, contractors, suppliers and of course, clients. Having previous experiences with starting a business should make the process much easier, you already know the drill. But ironically, what if your previous business failed? It should not stop you from trying again. But before that, you should carefully analyze what went wrong the last time. Maybe you should consult with someone more experienced to help you find what the problem was. What is your motivation? Mission and vision are such cliched words but there is a reason why they are used in every business book. You should know why you want to start your company. What are its main values, goals and how you should treat your clients? Of course you can do everything only for profit but in times of crisis it is easier to stay on board if you believe in what you do. There are also kinds of motivation that you should avoid. Being desperate, frustrated, broke or burned out seems like poor foundation of the new firm. As well as the need to prove something or get your own back on someone. Most of the experienced entrepreneurs say that they only regret is that they didn't start their companies earlier. Waiting for the perfect moment is an illusion, the circumstances will never be as favorable as you wish them to be. And there always will be some obstacles to overcome. Keeping that in mind it is good to be realistic at the same time. Specialists advise to have some savings that would allow you and your family survive if you don't make any profit for the first 6-12 months. And you should be prepared for sacrifices, if everything goes right the next years will make it up to you. Summing up, why starting a business is not always a good idea. The risk of failure is on you. There is no lower limit of the income. No one will guarantee your salary as your employer did. It requires a lot of paperwork, taxes and legal issues. Sometimes it means feeling alone and insecure at the beginning. And it surely is about being responsible for yourself and your environment, not everyone can handle it. On the contrary, why you should consider being an entrepreneur. First of all, it means freedom you don't have to ask for permission to do anything. It means working for your own profits, satisfaction and recognition. Therefore, it gives you independence, possibility to work with the people you like and for the clients you wish. You can be flexible, you work when and where you want to. And of course, your income depends only on your profitability, there is no upper limit.